Good morning. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Mama Lisa is in the kitchen slowly, but I'm in here. Happy Saturday. That's all I can tell you. Um, I want to show y'all a recipe. I'm going to tilt this back up because I'm finally alone in the Rona house with no distractions or boys. And I'm going to have to do all the videoing slowly because I don't have anybody here to like, you know, do that for me. So I'm going to have to tilt that one more time though, because you can't see my head and people complain about that. I don't know why, because Lord knows when I've just rolled out of the bed, and all that. Okay, there we go. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, I wanna show y'all a recipe today that literally I'm gonna just throw it together. So if it's something that you love, that you're interested in, grab a pen and a pen or a pencil, whatever, a card, a piece of paper, an envelope, whatever, and write it down. Because this is not one that is in a cookbook that I've done. It literally is coming from here and <laughs> which is sometimes a scary place to be. So it's gonna be bread pudding. That's what I'm making. So I have a lot of stuff out and I'm gonna show you what I have out just so it's clear. As mud maybe that this is how I create in the creator <laughs> studio of, yeah, of my kitchen. Anyway, um, I've got out 2% milk. I've got out the eggs that I have I have out, I think there's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven Bojangles biscuits mm -hmm, that were bought, I don't know, a couple days ago. They haven't been eaten. So I wanted to show y'all how I'm going to turn that into another recipe in the Rona and that we can all, you know, agree that you can do this kind of thing. Okay. So I have the biscuits. I have roasted pecans. Okay, in this baggie. I also have um, heavy whipping cream. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this yet, but just hang on. I have out uh, ground cinnamon. Just ground cinnamon. Nothing fancy. I also have out the only can of evaporated milk that I have right now. Okay, and it's a uh, five ounce. And then I have this that I love. Love, 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 love. Can't say enough good about it. You can screenshot it. We talk about it a lot with the hashtag cutting up crew. It is Nielsen Macy pure vanilla bean paste. I'm gonna do it one more time because I get hundreds of thousands of questions about this. So screenshot that. I got it at Amazon. I love it. I love it. I cannot say enough good about it. In baking, I love it. Okay. I also have um, the leftovers of a can of crushed pineapple with the juice in it. Just so you know, I may use it, I may not, I don't know yet. Um, I also have an orange, one orange and two slices of orange. So this is one of those recipes that you can be creative about as well. Oh, and I have butter. Lord Jesus, I forgot the butter. Let me put this over here. See, if it ain't right there in front of me, I'm going to forget it nine times out of ten. So, I melted one stick of butter in the microwave in that dish. And so, I'm going to take these biscuits. Nope, not first, I'm not. I'm going to mix up my concoction first, okay? So, <clears throat> two bread pudding. Uh, if you look up recipes on Pinterest or whatever, you're going to see that... Um, it takes milk, sugar, uh, some sort of butter, some sort of milk. You can do cream, you can do, I mean, you can do a lot. Some people put a little dash of salt in theirs. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do mine. And I'm gonna do my very best to talk through it so that it'll make sense to you so that you can take this recipe and then create your own. Um, ooh, there we go. I'm gonna open up this little can of evaporated milk, four ounce can, because that's what I have. Well, I said it was. Hang on. For you people that watch all the time, y'all know that 
sometimes mishaps happen in my kitchen and thus the reason that we titled it keeping it real with a c instead of a k just so it would stand out not so it would like make people mad that are you know english teachers or something really and truly seven years ago that was my thinking yeah and i had a sweet little uh girl named danielle cobb at the time she's married now anyway she helped me uh get the vlog up and going on facebook seven years ago so back to this the rona we're gonna call this the rona bread pudding okay i'm gonna put this four ounce cup of milk in here and I'm gonna toss that to the side. Now, I'm gonna add about four or five eggs. No, maybe four. Let's start with four. And I thought I, oh, there we go. So there's one, there's two, and there's a shell. Hold on. Come on here, there we go. Get on out of there. Let's start with, let's do four. I'm gonna do four. Because I want to do a couple of different sizes of bread pudding so that I can have it on hand to send as gifts to my parents, my father in law, somebody, somebody that I love, whatever. Um, or I can stick it in the freezer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? I'm going to get this honey out as well out of the hot water bath because it. Um, you know, honey gets kind of sticky and thick. And so if you put it in a hot water bath, you can see that it, well, yeah, there it goes. It's almost empty. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get more honey if I have it a little bit warm. That's my point. But if it's not sitting right there, I'll forget it. So four eggs, four ounces of evaporated milk. Now, I'm gonna whisk this together. Bread pudding is such a great southern dish and people have made it for years they've made rice pudding banana pudding from leftovers yeah leftover bananas leftover rice anyway so when we have leftover biscuits especially bojangles biscuits that have all that butter in them i'm gonna add about a half a cup of milk and i may add more um i hate to waste them you know, waste not, want not is what my motto is these days, especially in the Rona. So I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add to this, this about a cup. I'm gonna just do a cup of white granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna do a shake, shake of cinnamon in my um, Rona bread pudding. That's probably about a teaspoon or and a half or so. You could put nutmeg. You could put ginger if you like that. You could put anything that you would put in a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie spice. Apple pie spice would be good. Um, but I'm using cinnamon. And I'm keeping mine kind of plain uh, because I have a picky eater. My um, youngest son, baby boy, is picky. And he likes vanilla. He's in a vanilla world, and that's great. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of this, this uh, vanilla bean paste, which I love. We all love this. So I'm gonna make like a base for my bread pudding, and this is gonna be my base, okay? Now I'm gonna set this to the side because I'm running out of counter space, okay? And I'm gonna move real slow so that I don't tweak the knee. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now, to this, Lord, my OCD, sorry. I can't stand that, can't stand it. Anyway, um, let me put this right here and let me move this. And let me get a swig of coffee. Okay. Um, I'm going to take these pans that have been washed through the dishwasher and um, let me set that to the side. I can show y'all some real interesting things if you can just not mind the, you know, the clutter of the kitchen because we're all quarantined in the Rona and we have limited counter space these days. 
Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray my pan. And I'm gonna make at least one size this size. It's just a nine, I think it's a nine inch little uh, tin foil, no, aluminum foil pan. I'm gonna spray it so it doesn't stick. And I may use this one too. I gotta see how far my biscuits go. But because we're in the Rona and we have extra time, I'm gonna try one. I don't think I've ever done one in a mason jar, but I'm going to today. I have done pound cake in a mason jar and it's delicious every time. It's delicious every time. So when you see this vlog, there'll be people that have had them that are in our area and they'll tell you that, okay? Just so you know. Okay, if you wanna add sweetener and not have the sugar, you could use honey, okay? That's why I laid that out. But y'all know I'm probably gonna use well, I might do a glaze with that. Let me do this right here. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna spray these and I'm gonna grab the biscuits. I know it's a little bit lengthy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the, for the delay. It seems like everything's delayed these days. Okay, here's my thinking. Uh, my father-in-law loves pineapple. And so I'm gonna tear these biscuits up you, it doesn't have to be precise. They can be chunky. They can be a day old. They could be stale as long as they're not moldy. I can't make it up. And I'm gonna put some in a jar as well. And then I'll put a um, regular ball uh, lid on it and screw it down when it's hot. And that kind of keeps it a little fresher, a little longer. I'm not saying it preserves it by no stretch of the imagination, but I'll be giving these out in the next couple days to whoever, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, and if I don't, I can stick them in the freezer. I probably won't stick these in the freezer, but I'll stick this in the freezer in a skinny minute. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna put bread And you could use loaf bread, French bread, Italian bread. It does not have to be a biscuit. It can be a croissant. It can be any bread that you have left over that you think you're going to lose it to mold. It's going to go bad. You can make bread pudding. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so I'm going to tear this up. And I don't have to be as precise with this pan because i got room. I hope y'all can see this. I won't know until I watch it back myself. Living in the wrong now. Okay, let me do two more in this. In a pan though, you want your bread, whatever bread you use, to almost fill your pan up three quarters high, okay? Um, and I'm not a mathematician, Lord knows I'm not. But um, if you eyeball it, like I do, just kind of a dump cook thing. Um, once you do it a couple of times, you're gonna become good at it. I, I'm just saying. For people that, that don't like to cook or they say they can't cook or whatever, they can do this, this is easy. And they'll have a video to reference it. That'd be kind of cool when I can get it up in the cloud. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna use every bit of that. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab this other pan. Cause once you get all your pans out, then you can go to pouring your concoction and then you kind of know how much more you need. So that's why I'm doing all this at one time. Some people will not appreciate this and that's okay. But there'll be a lot of people that will because they're in quarantine and they wanna know what to do with the bread that's gonna go bad. I'm gonna spray this. Okay, I have two more, three more biscuits. Hope y'all can see that. I don't know where my bifoculars are right now. That's what I usually use so I can see up and Anyway, it's an issue. Okay, so. Oh, this is going to work out pretty good, I think. Yep, 
If you've never had bread pudding, since this vlog is international, I have to remember that. If you've never had bread pudding, it's sweet and doughy, but the bread is done to completeness. So it's not like doughy like the dough isn't done. And then it's got kind of a, almost a custardy feel to it, almost, but not quite, okay? Okay, one stick of butter. I'm gonna go over this. I may have to melt more butter. And I'm gonna just drizzle butter over the top. Remember that these biscuits have already been buttered with Bojangles. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. You can never have enough butter. Did I just say that? I love butter, okay? I just, I do. I ain't gonna lie about it. When I eat a homemade cookie and it has real butter in it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so one stick of butter and it did two quarts, one mini pan and two nine inch pans, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is make some room. And for Popalls, I'm gonna send him this one. I'm gonna take the leftover pineapple, crushed pineapple, with the juice, cause he loves that. Get a clean spatula here. And I'm gonna use that as a base. So this one will be Pawpaw's. Now, this one's gonna be Baby Boy's because he likes plain, 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 everything. All right, where is my ball that I mixed it up in? There it is. Okay. Now, Lord, something just fell on the floor. Anyway, same concoction. Let's start over here with pop balls. You want the bread to be covered by the liquid, almost as if it's floating, okay? Because when you bake it, this bread is gonna soak up that liquid, okay? So that did two-ish. I'm gonna show y'all how easy this is. Take a little bit of heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna add just a dub-dub evenly over the rest of that to make it float like this one, okay? Don't tell baby boy that, because then he might not eat it, because, you know, he, who knows with him, who knows? Okay, Pawpaw's is done. I'm gonna set his over here, and then I'll put it in the oven. Okay, to the plain Jane people, I'm gonna leave this one just like it is. Now you could cover this with um, a drizzle of honey, you could also cover it with caramel sauce or just have it on the table. Um, I've done that. You could also put pecans in it, which I'm gonna do in one of these glass jars, but let me get this over here to a safe place where it's not gonna fall on the floor. Okay, now I'm gonna put pecans. My husband likes pecans. Yeah, he does. And you know what? I'm gonna put some pecans on pop off. Hang on, he likes pecans too. Listen, th this is a real simple recipe. It's gonna seem long to you, but once you know it, you're gonna have it down pat. I promise you that, I promise you that. Okay, I'm gonna put pecans there. And people have nut allergies. I might send these to my mom and daddy. They don't have a nut allergy. And I'm gonna leave that in blank, just in case. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up one more time just like I started with, I'll probably just do, let's see, one, two, I'll probably just do three eggs. No, I'll do two eggs. One, two, and then I'll move these to another location. Okay, on this one, let's leave the sugar out. Let's do honey in this one. I'm, I'm talking to myself. It's the Rona. Who knows, I'm gonna dub, dub dub everywhere. And then I'm gonna put about a cup, yeah, of milk, 2%. Now I'm gonna need some cinnamon. Shake, shake. Oh, and the magic. 
I'm gonna need a dub dub of vanilla flavor. Yes, I am. Love it, love it. I love that vanilla flavor. Anyway, okay, let's mix this up. Okay, I'm gonna pour this. Now look, in North Carolina, it's strawberry season, so you could add strawberries if you wanted to. Yes, you could, yes, you could. The nice thing about bread pudding though is, is when you put it together like this in different sizes, it's not difficult to just mix up a little bit more, okay? Anyway, all right, I'm gonna do one egg, but where'd I put it? Okay, here we go. I told y'all this is one that I can't really write down, right? Just, it, <laughs> you just can't. You just need to see somebody do it. Especially if you try to use your stuff in the Rona. The other thing you could use though, besides honey, to sweeten this one, is maple syrup. That would be good on one. I'm gonna drizzle this with honey. And I'll let y'all know how this turns out. I really will in the comments. I'll, I'll comment underneath it and say, hey, this is good or whatever. Okay, this didn't get as runny as I thought it would. Let me grab a clean spatula. I'd love to get some of that honeycomb. Yes, I would. This might be my personal one right here. I love honey this time of year. Well, I love honey any time of year, but... Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a clean metal spoon. Slowly. Hey, There we go. And I'm gonna scrape that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm getting excited about this. Okay, a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Lord, deliver me. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. I want to use everything I've got. That's my point. And I have another honey here. And I'm just, this is just liquid honey, none of that comey stuff. I'm literally just gonna, just so it's even. Yes, yes what I'm talking about. Okay, let's put this to the side. Now, we've got this concoction here with no sugar. I'm gonna pour that over this one and I'm gonna try to be real careful not to get it too full so it doesn't make a daggone mess in my... And then I'm gonna just add the rest of it to top this off. Yeah. And these are gonna be ready to go in the oven just like this. I'm gonna bake them on 400 until they're brown and bubbly. And believe me, you will be able to tell. Okay, I'm gonna add a little milk here. I hope y'all can see it. I'm gonna add a little milk to Papa's. I'm gonna have to get Instacart for some more milk. Anyway, that's how I'm doing bread pudding in the Rona house. Yeah, in the cutane, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. If you don't have white sugar, granulated white sugar, you can use brown sugar. The, the, this is a limitless recipe is what I'm trying to tell you. I know it was long, but if you love bread pudding and you want to use what you got, now you know how to do it. Anyway, I'm glad the boys weren't here because they'd have been like, get on with it. I'll see y'all. I'll post pictures. Have a good one. Alrighty, I'm gonna show y'all what toppings I'm gonna use or make for the bread pudding because it's what I have in my kitchen. So I'm gonna take um, the juice of these two wedges of oranges that I've been using in my hot tea and I'm just gonna squeeze those into my measuring cup, Pyrex measuring cup. And to this, 
I'm gonna add a little bit of orange zest because we're trying to use what we have in the Rona. So I can zest this and then I can cut it and use it for my tea, no problem. This is my last one. That should do it. I might wanna use that as this for some time else, I don't know. It'll go back in the refrigerator until I'm ready for it. Okay, so to this one, I'm gonna add, um, where's my honey? Oh, it's in the hot bath, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna add honey to this instead of maple syrup because I have a little bit of maple syrup in the cabinet, my pantry, but not a lot. And we may do pancakes or something. I don't know. So I wanna reserve that just because the Neanderthal baboons would rather have real maple syrup than something I've compiled, created, whatever. Okay, let me grab a clean whisk. And I'm gonna whisk this together a little bit. Now to this, I'm gonna add literally hot water out of the tap because I wanna thin it just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna let my water get hot while I grab the powdered sugar. I have powdered sugar, so here that is. Um, I'm gonna use that to thicken this just a tad bit, okay? I'm gonna just run, well, let's see what's clean over here. Okay, this is clean. I'm just gonna run this little, I use this for my diffuser, my allergy, essential oil diffuser thing. But it's clean. We're the only ones eating it anyway. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I'm just telling you like a friend, it's clean. I'm gonna add a little bit, about third a cup, uh, powdered sugar just to thicken this. And you'll have to add the powdered sugar until it gets to the consistency of like runny Elmer's glue. And that's about how I like it. Okay, let me see if I that closer to you. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. Now, in this um, clean mason jar, let me grab my heavy whip out of the fridge. You want your heavy whipping cream to be extremely cold to do this, so pull it right out of the fridge. And I'm gonna put, I don't know, let me just see how far this goes. Yeah, that, that's about it. Since it's just us eating the whipped topping, I'm not gonna make a full jar, I don't think. Now to that, I'm gonna need a little bit of sugar. And for the hashtag cutting up crew, the Mac Daddy and I have done this a couple times. You might remember. I'm gonna add about, I don't know, four or five tablespoons of white granulated sugar. Oh wait, I forgot something. And then I'm gonna add, I wouldn't do this for the Mac Daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna add a splash of this whiskey, Bird Dog Blackberry Flavored Whiskey. Yeah, it, I've used it before in whipped toppings, but literally, uh, it wasn't even a half a teaspoon. I just want it for flavor, that's all, okay? So I'm gonna shake this, and I'm gonna shake it, and shake it, and shake it, and then sometimes I'll stop, I'll sit down, I'll go clean up, I'll come back, shake it. And it's gonna turn into whipped cream. And just in time, I, I can't make this up. I, let me just check the bread puddings. The bread puddings. They've been in on 400 for 20 minutes. I'm gonna give them five more so that I can check the littlest ones because I don't want them to burn um, on top because they have that butter poured over the top. So I'll show y'all that when it comes out of the oven and try to piece it together. I don't know. Anyway, meanwhile, I'm gonna be shaking. There's a whole lot of shaking going on, okay? So I'll show you this and that at the very end when it all comes together, okay? 
Well, I'll be back. It's like a workout. Coming out of the oven are these yummy concoctions that will be comfort food for somebody. Papa. These, I'm not sure who they'll go to, but I'm excited about that. And last but not least, the plain Jane one. Nope, that's not plain Jane. This is Papa. This is plain Jane. Okay. Just so you know, these will bubble up like this. Don't panic. If you use your mason jar, you can slice that off and eat it yourself, which is probably what I'm gonna do with a clean spoon or a clean, nope, let me get a butter knife. Yep, I'm gonna taste this one without cross-contaminating. I hope you can see the egg in that one. Let's do that. Okay, and then what else can I taste without ruining it? Mm, I mean, ruining it to give away. Okay, baby boys, that's what I'll do. Because we're going to keep this one. We're going to be so big, I'm not going to be able to get through the dang doorway. I'm just saying. Okay, two of these. Drizzle. That's what I was trying to get to. You can choose to drizzle these as they come out. I'm gonna drizzle mine, the, just the plain Jane one. Mm-hmm, so I can taste it. But you can drizzle, let me see, what do I have in these? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, but I will do this. Just a drizzle. You know what, I will do that, just a drizzle. Just to give it a little bit of that yummy orange flavor. Okay, lastly, the whipping cream. Let's call this the Mac Daddy whipping cream. This is almost done. I shook it and shook it, and then I stuck it in the freezer. So it's really good and cold. I will continue to shake this, and then I'll put it in the fridge. But I will, and it'll, it'll, uh, firm up, but I want to show y'all the consistency as it is right now. It's thicker, but it's not as thick as I want it. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Shut the front door. This is going back into my refrigerator. This was the whipping cream with the bird dog splash heavy whip and sugar. And by supper time tonight, that'll be firmer to put a dollop on whatever you want. So listen, I hope that's something that helps y'all that is something that you'll try at home. I'm gonna taste this. This was the plain Jane one, I think. And I didn't put no syrup on this. Y'all know I'm a freak for some syrup. Mm. Delicious. I'm gonna taste this one too. Mm. I like the plain one. It's hot. But I like the plain one for me with that orange drizzle. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna hop off of here. I hope y'all enjoyed that um, bread pudding in the Rona. Rona bread pudding. Use what you got.
keep it simple, stupid, all those things, kiss method, all those things, and use what you got. I'll see y'all. Have a good Saturday. Once these are all done, literally, as they cool, I put a lid on it and screw it down as tight as I can. And then when you can handle them, tighten that screw, that uh, cap down best you can without burning yourself. And that will be nice gifts for someone that you love. Tell them to bring back the jar so you can refill them.